Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 705 of Fallout 4. Last episode was, <laughs> it was like a jigsaw puzzle, a giant jigsaw puzzle. So what we do have is a barn, and this is supposed to be where I have my crafting, uh, my crafting stations, my power armor thingies, maybe some storage, like filing cabinets and that stuff. And I'm going to make it two ceilings high and then put a roof on it. The whole point was to make it look, make it feel like spacious when you're inside of it and then I had the brilliant idea <laughs> brilliant asterisk um, to use the barn doors that are available they don't really work the way I wanted them to but they still function but to use them oh god I almost fell into the abyss um, you, you, you don't want to do that can I, can I craft in here oh my god I can't get out of here but <laughs> to use them specifically to lead into the pier thingamabobber that we have. It's, it's, it's what we're calling it, thingamabobber. To, to lead him into the pier thingy that we have. Now the issue is these need to be pushed over like a, an increment that they're not normally meant to be pushed over, which is why you see them kind of flashing, and it's why I'm probably going to put like a rug here so I never have to have my eyes bleed ever again. But that does mean some funky things need to happen like this. Hold on, are these... These are where they need to be. So this actually getting scooched over here is fine, yes? Yes. Which actually saves the texture spazzing, but it means that we need to have another layer of uh, floor that, oh god, not that, that'll snap right here, so that's gonna be fun. So I need to snap another floor there, then we're good on that front. This needs to get pulled back a bit. Uh, there's, there's a lot that needs to get tweaked. So really it just, it, it comes down to where do I want to have this funky little texturing? I mean, of course, I could put one... I, I guess this is this is an idea. I don't really think about this. But what I could do is... If I move this over here... I, I saved before I did this all. If I move this here... Um... No. Why? Because as you go down the stairs, you're going to see the abyss. Uh... I could just fill these up with uh, these little wood floors. And I, oh, I'm severely dehydrated. I, uh, that's a problem. But if I did that, it would look sort of derpy. Mm, but we could get fancy and do some kind of aesthetic choice or something using these, much like we did on the edge of the, the, the level. But the fact of the matter is, I desperately want, or I really want anyway, the floor that has the ability to hide the abyss right where right where I currently have it. Uh, can I get this thing to snap right here? Not, 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 not like that high up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is, this is a, this is a project. I'm telling you, this is a project, you guys. I'm trying to get this to snap in a very particular way and it's just not, not working. Remember, this was never meant to be. This was, ne this was never meant to be like snapping where I'm snapping these things. Uh, give me the con no 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 no. Give me the concrete one. Put that right here. Okay, you come up here, right there. And you, you know you want to snap. Wait, I think that might be right. Hold on, where is that? That's good. Uh, but now this needs to get pushed out. Hmm, no. Damn it, it's not quite right. It's not quite right. Uh, what I'll need to do is bump this out a bit and snap onto this, perhaps. Ooh, it, it worked for a second. It, it, it went to the spot. <laughs> you can see as I rotate, it goes to every spot that I don't want. <laughs> Mother trucker! This is not a easy. This is so difficult. I'm hoping this coaxes the snapping. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Make it, making things look pretty is not easy, guys. Uh, at least in Fallout. There is a spot here. There. That is that is flawless. Now, we kind of have the same thing going here with the uh, little floaty bits, but I'm not really interested in that. I think that kind of looks dumb. At least where it's currently at, plus there's, like, this issue. The, the fact is, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see the sand and the dirt that's underneath there. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that's kind of our current goal. Now, give me this floor, and with any luck, I'll be able to get you to snap just like that, which I think we just fixed it. Of course, this is going to cause some texture funk right here, which 
I'm, I'm kind of wondering if maybe, like, if I snapped it in some way. But anyway, I, I can just put it something here, and I'm going to. I'm going to put, like, a rug here, or I'm going to put some kind of wall or guardrail or something. Like, that's not the end of the world. It looks a little derpy, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we, might be able to, we might be able to finish this yet. We might be able to finish this yet. I saw it. <laughs> I think we got it. There you go. Now we have textured derps in a couple spots, but that is full well expected. It's kind of funny because this one snaps over. Yeah, I, I actually want to bring this one in one, then I can make it symmetrical. But there you go. We maintained the pier. We, we, we maintained the, uh, the tile set that I wanted to maintain. Uh, now I need to figure out like what I'm doing with the pier to make this look a little bit better. I might just scrap this thing because I mean unless I unless I do that actually that kind of works out pretty well um yeah you know what we'll do that never mind I was thinking about scrapping that and swapping the uh the tiles around sadly there's really nothing I can do about this I can't I can't put this here it'll float so there's always going to be this little little space but that's just those are those are textures that I can't deal with but anyway that was a um that was a tizzy that was like six minutes of of, of trying so hard, got so far, but in the end it didn't even matter. But you know what? It did matter because we succeeded. And you should be happy for that, guys. I'm happy for that. Now we can move on with our lives. Um, we'll need a door here and let's see. We're under the barn. Barn kind of what, 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 tile set, whatever we're calling it here. What's the difference between these doors? One just looks a little more... Oh, the, the okay. It, it's it's where the, uh, the handle is. That's it. So we'll put this one right here. It's just where the handle goes. That's all good. That's fine. But if you guys enjoyed the follow-up videos, again, I do appreciate those of you who have been taking the time to like the videos. Much appreciated, dudes. Thank you for the support. But here we go. We now have the area where the, the crafting is going to go down. But I bet you any money as soon as I start slapping these walls down. It's going to be like, yo, dog, your settlement. It's too huge. It's like my wiener. Let's see the space. Huge! Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be like, you know, build no more. And... <laughs> that requires me to settlement yeah. cheese. Easy enough, but annoying to do. I'd like to find something better to drop and store repeatedly, though. Because, yeah. Dropping a bunch of rifles and coming back over here to pick them up is a pain in the butt. So I'm actually going to save. And then extra object selection. Let's make sure that that's enabled. And we'll pick up the workshop. Nah. Why does that... That was weird. It, it, says, it says the weapons workbench was a wall. Never mind. I was going to pick up the workshop over there, but that's probably not the best item to grab. I'm just going to grab this because this is still a uh, this is still a storage <gasps> thingy. Well, shit. That's right. I deleted or covered, rather, the old ground that's here. All right. Well, what, what we need to hope for is the best. And by that, I mean when we're scrapping slash storing these things, you know... I wonder how much these contribute. I've, I've always used the weapons for some reason. Uh, army fatigues, sure. When we store these things, we cannot accidentally store the floor. That's why I like to do it on natural ground, because you can't store natural ground in any way. Chess pieces, tons. Basically, I'm just trying to pull out things that have huge stacks and have multiples of. Because when I store them, it's going to increase the settlement size. So all those combat armor chess pieces, all the army fatigues, all the harnesses... All of those, all of those, and six of those, because I'm obviously wearing them. Nice. So there's a lot of items there, it just doesn't look like it. Now it says, nothing more can be built. Look at the settlement size, it's, it's pee dang full. Let's see here. Now, uh, it's strangely enough, it seems that like weapons are just far and above the best thing to use to increase settlement size. So now, like visualize the amount of space that was just freed up there, a tiny little bit, and compare... Oh, that's that's why we save. So, you know what I just did? Let's check our weight. <laughs> but, now we at least know. But, visualize that, that teensy little bit that was that was freed up, and compare it to when I start storing some rifles. I, I'm betting any money that the rifles just far and above give me more space to work with. I wonder if it's because, like, Armor, when scrapped, doesn't have a lot of components to it compared to uh, com compared to like a weapon. I'm assuming that's how it works. I don't I don't fully know. Does it still have extra object selection enabled? Okay, I just turned that back off. 
down you go, and let's try it this time using only weapons. It kind of works out in my favor that I accidentally did that, but <laughs> it ain't the first time it happened. Uh, da -da -dum. Really? I was going to say, I think I had six of those. So this is, what, 16 items total compared to the things that I just dropped earlier, which was f far and above more than 16. Oh, I, have to, I keep pressing tab and it won't go to my inventory. So 10 pipe pistols and 6 rifles. All right. And they all just you know, sit on the ground. Well, that's, that's what we want. Store. Boom. <laughs> that, that basically makes the same amount of store, uh, free space as all that armor did. It's really strange to me. And like a couple pipe pistols. Made, I, don't, I, don't, I guess it has to do with the... Oops. I guess it has to do with the materials. And it's kind of strange that the pipe pistols freed up so much space. And the, the rifles barely did anything. Maybe, maybe that's because of the pipe one scrap for more? It's really weird to think about. Anyway, well, we'll take these, take those. Sadly, this just means more stuff to pick up, but sure, fat man, why not? Uh, there's a stack of six in here. Where they, where they go? I'll take the pipe pistols and then the six rifles, and this should give me a lot of, a lot of free room to work with before I have to do this again. I don't want to sit here and do this all day. Uh, no, no, don't, 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 don't accidentally equip that thing. Now you're gonna be barehanded, buddy. Uh, rifle, fat man, ten pistols, and ten rifles. So watch as the loot explodes. Dog meat, do not drop anything. Do, do not, like, knock the stuff over. So, store. Let me, let me watch the settlement size. Fat men make a pretty big difference. Well, I guess so does this. It's, like, the same amount. Look at that. I wonder if having, like, a big stack really matters. For settlement size. It seems to be, like, the same amount every time. Really strange, but look at that. Now, now the dang thing is not even yellow anymore. Really weird how that works, but you know what? I don't question it. It works. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Yay! Did that just, like... For a, for a second, I thought that texture popped, but I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, Yeah, let's get back to building. <laughs> let's get back to building. Sorry for all the weird distractions and whatnot. I mean, just is what it is, man. You gotta do some oddball things like that to free up some settlement size and get working. Sucks we had to sit there and finagle with the pier for as long as I did. But hey, man... It enables me to have this fancy opening, and I love it. So that is as high as I think I want to make the walls. Now, the roof tiles for this thing, I've never really messed with. Not under the barn category. So I really don't know how cooperative these things are. That'd be really cool if I had a, if I had a two by two, I could just slap that roof on it. <laughs> Damn, don't have one of those. I'm just looking at these things. Oh, well, that's, I mean, that's kind of nifty. I wonder how that ties into the roof. I, w I wonder how you tie that into... Like, does that snap to this? Oh, it totally does. It could snap it right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, then. I am getting in my power armor. We're, we're, we're getting in the power armor because we need to be high. We need to be flying for this. We're going on an adventure, you guys. We're going on an adventure. And it, it requires jetpacks. Who doesn't like jetpacks? Oh, God. It requires jetpack, but my AP is potato. Um, we need to fuel the jetpack so it'll work. Where did the water... I think I may have buried the, um, the water source, actually. I'm, I'm gonna level with you. I uh, don't remember where I put... <laughs> Was it in here? I know I moved it around a few times, but I, th I, I, think, I, I think I buried the... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I buried the, uh, the water pump. Eh, whatever. Will you go right here? Oh, I figured you would because it was a natural tile at one point. This thing's just gonna be a butthead, isn't it? You're just gonna be a butthead. Oh, I'll need to fix that. You go over here? No, really? You're 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 being awfully. You're being aw you're, Don't make me drink purified water. I'll do it. I don't wanna, but I'll do it. Fine. Here's what we'll do. We'll lift up this floor. We'll take water. We'll put you on the ground and watch this. Boom. F science. You just got scienced. How does it feel to get scienced? All right. <laughs> now I'll have my AP back. Unfortunately, I lose my big int uh, impact, which means I'm not getting idiot savant anywhere near as much as normal. But I need to be able to fly for this. And I guess this would mean if I eat that rat steak, that's the last rat steak. Ribeye steaks. Let's eat the ribeye steaks. I'm still f really. I'm still famished. Oh wait, no, it's gonna update, right? No, I'm still. Fi oh my god! I just, I just ate two steaks. Man, you're hungry. You hungry, boy? Holy crap! Okay, 
I got our giant box. Now let's figure out how this giant box works, because I have got no idea. Wood, no, 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 wood. Let's go to barns, barns. Let's go to... Is dog meat opening? Yeah, dog meat's opening the door again. I'm like, what the hell is that noise? So this is just a generic roof, and what's this one? Oh, okay, so this has like the rafter. I'd like the rafter. It's gonna look cool from down below. Oh, so just, just snap straight up to it. Appears to be the case. I don't like how there's, you know, like there's no overhang at all, but beggars can't be choosers, right? That's gonna have to be what it is. What I think we can get away with, uh, we'll need the, do, do, does this have a corner cap is now my question, actually. Oh, that's a, that's a, uh, shit, that's actually a problem. Hold on. So let's see here. What was that? Oh, I thought I, I thought I saw what I was looking for. Um, kind of, yeah. It's kind of sort of what I'm looking for, I guess. Look, okay, but that's like a different slope, huh? How do you round this off then? That's oh, oh, there's this piece. All right, what I was in, what I was imagining, and I'm not seeing it. What I was imagining was more, less, less of like a rounded thing here on a barn. More of a like that design, how the triangle meets up with the end. Uh, I don't know, like the incline. So like this is just completely rounds it off and it looks a little bit silly to me, but if that's the piece that we have to work with, then that's the piece we have to work with. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just, I don't know, that's just definitely not what I imagined. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, I've never messed with the barn set pieces or the barn roof set pieces. So, I want the rafter pieces, because I think it just, it makes sense to see the rafters, and uh, it just, the supports. Uh, I hope that there are the straight filler pieces with rafters, because if there aren't, this is going to look really stupid. I haven't really been paying attention to that. Yes, yes, thankfully, 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 thankfully. Okay, now we're good. I was concerned. I was concerned. Uh, is there a center point to this? No, this, because this is four. One, two, three, four. Because what I was thinking of doing is using the funky little piece right here that we get. Oh, well, we could still sort of use it for an aesthetic. And you're, you're not. I mean, when you're down below, you're never really going to see that, that 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 like roof derp. I don't even know if that's so much a roof derp as it is just like a design choice. Let's see what happens if I do this. See, yeah, I mean, even then, I connect it to the like it snapped, but it looks a little. <laughs> it's a little fucking stupid. <laughs> is there nothing better? Like, is there not a more graceful way of connecting to that one? This has like, it's a platform, but it has like a gutter that almost looks like it was meant to connect to that. Hmm. Now this is obviously the same exact thing I'm working with, but without the rafters underneath. Eh, I kind of want to keep that. As... As goofy as it might look, I think I'm keeping it. I think I'm keeping it. Now, what's this thing, though? What's this picture? Miscellaneous. I don't mean to do that. Miscellaneous. What do we got here? An outhouse. <laughs> Let me go put this outhouse door in the front. <laughs> Roof cupola. Cupola. Oh, I, love, I love it. Cupola. I mean, you, you could just get away with slapping this right here, just as a design thingy. Aesthetic. Like, this one snaps. And this one also adds extra depth. So as stupid as it looks... No, don't change the axis. As stupid as that might look, I think I'm gonna roll with it. Because unless you're up here, it really doesn't look like much. Um, why is it not snapping here? But it snapped earlier. Question. Uh, will you snap now? What? Are you being a pain in my butt? Well, now you're snapping. N now, can I go in the building? I didn't mean to squish anybody. If I squished anybody, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> can I go in the building and add that rafter? Because that missing rafter just looks dumb. So I need the straight piece here. Where is that straight piece of this thing? Uh, will you also snap? It's like multiple textures overlapping. It looks like I can... Just a matter of, just a matter of finagling. Ooh. You sound like a piggy, Mr. Brahman. You gotta, you gotta stop, oh, nice butt. You, you gotta stop snorting. You gotta, you gotta stop that. It'll snap in the existing spot. For some reason, it won't snap there. So you, you see what I mean here? Like, 
unless I change that piece to be the one without the rafter, and then I alternated, it'd look weird. But I think it's going to need the rafters everywhere. I think it just looks better. What if we took this, and we lifted it up, sent it to space, lifted this thing up, and then went back up there and fixed it? Because I think earlier it snapped. If I'm not mistaken, it, it snapped in a really weird way. Yeah, see, it'll still snap. So it looks like what I can do is put this down first. Hopefully it's going the right way. And finagle. There you go. Problem solved. Problem solved. So now we have like this, I don't know, just different looking thing in our base. <laughs> it spices up the color palette and it, it adds some depth with the weird little roof pieces. I'm not going to say I like the angle of the roof very much. It's not very steep. Uh, definitely not overly a fan of that, but I like the openness and I like the way that the rafters look and I like the idea that I could put some kind of like flooring along the side and instead of putting hay bales up there like you'd see in a barn, I could put storage or, or something. Uh, in fact, why don't we look, stop, stop hitting that button, why don't we look at the floors, like this, this is what I'm talking about, is this going to snap? If it doesn't snap, I'll find a way to snap it, but there you go, you could, you could run these just across this building and then I could tuck things up there what it is I don't know I could even get like a staircase going up to it to meet it but this is more added depth just like tool storage you know when you go into a barn I mean you have a lot of shelves and a lot of spots where you just put shit because you, know, you got shit to store if you're a farmer if you're a farmer you know anything about farming you know exactly what I'm saying like <laughs> you gotta hang shit from wherever you can hang shit if you got the tools and you got you got like a chain and there you go boom or if you got shelves you, you put them up on the shelves I mean that's just how it goes that's just how it goes man okay will you snap here you will now, obviously this is not gonna stay here in fact let's just put that outside just, it's magic <laughs> just put it through the wall I mean again it, it gives it more more depth and I could put silly aesthetic things up there we'll see we'll see because I don't know what all I have access to but fact of the matter is now it's coming down to the crafting stations come here mr. weapon bench come here buddy or armor bench that's a weapons bench yeah you know what this one's probably not gonna stay this isn't the better looking one I like the uh, like the the more oh, like techy looking one where is it this one right here yeah I don't know why, this one looks fancier to me. So we're gonna roll with that. Which means, poof. Okie doke. Let's see, power armor station? Yes. Cooking stove? Yes. If there's already these things, I'll go, I'll delete them, it's fine. Uh, what was there? There's three different cooking stations to choose from. I'll want the fancy one of those and the armor workbench. And I mean, we have plenty of room when it comes to these new Coca-Cola things if I decide to add them. Let's go with some more aesthetic choices and not just square it up let's put them in the corners like this and and angle them i thought i had some texture pop there but i think it's the brahmin being it. oh god do you see that lighting <laughs> we got some lighting problems going on here <laughs> we need to fix that we need to close the barn door It'd be cool if you could lock the door so like the npcs would interact with it or specifically tell npcs to not interact with certain doors i can like guarantee there's a mod for that <laughs> i can pretty much guarantee that that's a thing there you go, and power armor. I mean, hell, I could put a, uh, I could put an incline leading up to a power armor station. You know, that ain't a uh, difficult thing. That kind of sounds pretty cool to me. Okay, Mr. Cooking Stove, you're going over here though, right in the corner. Right, as long as it doesn't clip through and we see it outside. Hmm. Okie doke. So under the structures category, let's see here. Barn. What do you have for stairs? Are they just all these annoying, yeah, these annoying metal ones on that totes, totes sold on, totes sold on? I could take the floor and push it out even further, a little, little nicer. Um, what I would do then is actually store these and give this an overhang because you know how they always have like that loft with the hay bales and shit up on them. Uh huh. There you go. I'm not a fan of that staircase. I'm actually more inclined to go with the wooden one. And I could. Yep, it snaps to and everything. Put something like this. I could double staircase it like that. And you could walk up here. And 
I have a power armor station just chilling up top. Also, you need to get rotated. You're, you're bugging me. Thank you. I can have a power armor station just waiting up here. And it's a whole second layer to work with. A whole second layer. I need to be able to get behind that thing when I'm crafting so I don't face through a wall. So we'll put it like right there. And that's the perfect spot to park a uh, power armor suit. Uh, that connectivity is a little janky. You know what? Let's fix that while we're, while we're here. So barn, roof... I think there was an incline without the the rafter that doesn't have holes in it, right? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. So sorry, man. Hello. Better looking roof for the situation. Makes sense. If I was running rafters the other way, then that would that would that would that would explain it, but I'm not, so there you go. We have rafters going sideways, and we have all the support, and we have like this thing going around the uh, going, going around the edge of my base, and I mean I can fill this thing up here with some various aesthetic choices. I'm sure I can find some more decorative things that have like outsidey, outsidey feels to them. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what it would be, but I'm I'm certain I could find something underneath the set. I mean, hell, a doghouse in the barn. Like, why not? Dog meat. You want to come up here and lay down? Or better yet, we get one of those junkyard doggos that we find from um, what's his face, just roaming outside. Just use that. Mm, plants now. We can put a radio out here. I mean, hell, it could make sense to have a gigantic dumpster. I mean, why not, right? Crate. I mean, I mean, these are decent aesthetic choices right here. I mean, the net's more nautical than nothing or than anything, obviously. Uh, we need a uh, we need an American flag somewhere. Uh, granted, we have two in the uh, the living quarters, but we we need we need, uh, we need to represent. So what we'll do is we'll put one. Come here, come here. I'm, I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna fix you. Put you right in the center of this tile. About as best as I can. And we'll do another one over here. And I think that'll that'll wrap the episode up. So now we have a crafting area. We have a living area. We have the merchant area. The only thing we don't have is the second residential district. Or not district, but uh, <laughs> second resident. This is really weird. I look one way and it goes the other. It's like inverted. That's kind of strange. But uh, another thing I need to do is make another residential area and we are good to go. I might add some windows to this. I think underneath this category there was such a thing. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see, barn. It's not showing me the textures. Walls. Yeah, absolutely. As long as these don't like... Oh, are they all broken? Are they all... Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> they do have the, the things I was thinking about. I can totes my goats just snap like this here and yeah I think I could do this slightly differently I mean th th yeah th th there, there's there's more to this than what I've done so this this is definitely open for improvement but what I don't like is that all of these windows I don't see a single one that's not just broken like really why I mean why why, why can't I make such a nice looking wall of course minus the paint my character is no artist but uh why, why is that my only choice for a window? Like, why? That just looks so looks stupid. Just... <laughs> who who designs these things? Who thought that that was a... Uh, why didn't you pick it up? Who thought that was a good idea? But that will not only add light to this building, it'll add a variety because as it stands, it's all the same wall type, and that just looks stupid. Can you please snap? It's, it's a it's a it's a little it's a little finicky. It's a hard knock life when you're trying to make your base look be, uh, pretty. Yeah, you see what I mean here. We'll just we'll just add some variety in that way. But either way, guys, it is time to wrap it up here. Episode 705, pretty much done for the most part. Once we get things powered and get that last little building done, and we're we're, we're out of here. We've been here for a while. I full well know. I do want to get back to exploring, but you can see just looking at it from up here. I, I mean. Tell me that don't look cool, because that looks pretty cool to me. And there's still the dock over there, and there's still that area over there. And we still have to make like a, like a power generation room. It, it's it's so fancy. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed going over the top for this settlement. But as always, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.